Hello, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching Dash Detailed, and this is 10 things that you need to know about Dash. Dash was launched in January 2014, then called Darkcoin, by developer Evan Duffield, whose ideas about privacy didn't find much traction among Bitcoin's core developers. Hence, the coin's distinguishing feature is a protocol-level trustless mixing service called DarkSend, soon to be rebranded as PrivateSend. Because it has a Bitcoin code base, Dash is compatible with all existing merchant, exchange, and wallet software that's previously been written for Bitcoin. Since launch, Dash has successfully implemented a function called Instant Send, which offers a confirmation within an average of 1.3 seconds to users who choose to pay the fee. Dash's block time is every 2.5 minutes, and its mining difficulty is able to be adjusted up to every single block using an algorithm called Dark Gravity Wave. Ooh. Dash's mining algorithm is called X11, and its current ASIC-driven hash rate is roughly 500 gigahashes per second. Current block reward is 3.88 Dash, and this amount decreases by 7.1% each year, giving Dash a slow and steady emissions curve, nearing zero at around 22 million coins. When measuring node count by market cap, Dash's infrastructure robustness is more than an order of magnitude higher than the competitors of, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Dash's block reward is paid out to three separate groups. 45% to miners for security, 45% to masternodes for instant send and private send functions, and the remaining 10%, the treasury, equaling roughly 1 million US dollars worth of Dash per year, is paid out to developers, marketers, auditors, and anyone else who is approved for a project. Dash's masternodes prove a 1,000 Dash collateral holding, which gives them proper incentives to provide governance. Their democratic votes decide both who should get funding from the treasury and the direction that development should go. Dash's next major development, slated to be released in late 2017, is called Evolution and will make many of the features discussed today automatic and obscured away from the user, making a digital cache that, yes, even your mother could use. You can learn more at dash.org and by subscribing to this YouTube channel below. What stands between digital currency and mass adoption? Some say there has yet to be a killer app invented, but if currency itself is not at least the first killer app, then probably nothing is.